Welcome everybody to another edition of Ed Snare TV. I'm your host, Ed Snare, where we're going to be talking about health, nutrition, activities, or whatever else I want to talk to you guys about today. The first thing that we're going to talk about today is that we have Tammy over by the beach going to ask some questions over to her runner. How do you treat yourself after a race? Uh, after a race, there's always a beer. Um, and it's usually really convenient because at a lot of races, there's always, almost always a beer garden afterwards. Instant nap. Uh, I will get in a shower, I'll nap, and then I'll foam roll. And then go out for some celebratory beers. Uh, I usually do a lot of walking. Uh, I don't like to sit down. Sometimes I'll go grab a beer, but I'll stand up with the beer as opposed to do anything else pamper myself. <laughs> I have a mantra. It's a shower, food, nap. So after every race, shower, food, usually breakfast, and then a nap, and I can wake up and be fully recovered. Usually a lot of rest, um, some food, <laughs> icing my legs, and uh, just, uh, just relaxing, letting myself just come down from the runner's high and just relax that day and um, take some time to just take it all in and enjoy, enjoy what I just did. By relaxing and eating some really good food. Oh boy, uh, after a race, a long nap and, uh, and good food. Anything I want. Um, I eat whatever I want after a race. Uh, depending on the distance of the race, I might go out and do like a hike or something just to kind of get the lactic acid buildup out of my legs, but I don't do anything too fancy. Beer. <laughs> After a race, I do usually two things. Um, the first thing is get drunk with my friends. Um, and the second thing is either later that evening or the next day, um, usually treating myself to a rather expensive, indulgent um, meal at a restaurant somewhere, typically um, with fancy cheese and wine, um, just really kind of doing it up and calories are not an issue at all. Celebratory, <laughs> congratulate myself. Um, I like to go out, do something with friends. I don't just go home and like plop on the couch. I like to continue to be active. A lot of beer. Uh, after the race, uh, nice juicy burger, fries, and usually a few beers. The few beers is the most important part. Um, depending on the race, I definitely like to indulge. If it's a bigger type race, definitely want to kick back, relax, and enjoy that moment, uh, and then focus on the next one. After a race, it takes about two or three days, but all I want is a massage. I eat something really ridiculous, like I would go to get a big cheeseburger or pizza or anything I would normally not eat because I just ran 13.1 miles. <laughs> The last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is that I have 10 reasons why you want to lace up and go for a run. Number one, the runner's high. What it does is it releases endorphins throughout your body. Now normally you have to run and then afterwards you feel that runner's high. Not during, but after. And you actually feel it throughout the day. That's why you want to do it. It makes you happy. Number two, it relieves stress. Runners often report that this can relieve stress throughout your day. This will also help with your mental blocks. So if you're stressed at work, stressed in life, stressed in your relationship, this will actually relieve that. Number three, it actually manages your weight. For every 10 minutes you run, that's 100 calories you burn. If you're thinking about running that half marathon, that's 1,300 calories. Imagine the food that you want to eat. Bacon. Number four, you could find friends. I can't tell you how many times I've gone out there on social media or run clubs, running stores, and I met so many nice people and so many people on that runner's high. I enjoy them all. So if you want to meet some nice people, go out, lace up, go for a run. Number five, testing your body, pushing your body to a new limit. You will be amazed at what your body can do when you go for a run. Think of all those obstacles your body actually goes through. It all takes one step. And all of a sudden, a person who never thought they could run a mile can now run a 5K. Number six, 
to just be silly. You can be silly with a friend, a group, yourself. This is the one place where you could actually wear a costume, wear neon, everything, jump in the mud, and actually go out there and just be a kid again. Number seven, if you live in a place that has sunshine uh, over 300 days out of the calendar year, you could, you could save so much money by just going out for a run. No gym membership required. You could just go out there and sweat. Number eight, to get smooth, sexy skin. Now, some of you runners will go out there and you're running and all that sweat pours out of your skin, gets onto your tank and shows that funny little sweat art on your back. Well, that, what that's doing is it's, it's actually cleansing your body of all that gunk in your skin. And as you runners know, and the people that don't run, once you go for a great run and take a shower, that's the best feeling in the world. Number nine, boosting self-esteem. After running races, one mile, 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, you're amazed how your self-esteem actually improves because you know that you pushed yourself, you've trained for it, you made it happen. How this will carry into your work life, your relationships. You know you could train for something. You know that you could run the race. You could do almost anything. Number 10, snag some bling. Who doesn't want more bling in their life? You get bling, bling, 5Ks, 10Ks, whatever it takes. Go out there, run a race, get some bling. Whatever the reason you lace up, I just gave you 10 reasons, but whatever gets you out there to lace up and go for a run, go for a 5K, a 10K, or just around the block, enjoy your life. Enjoy what's around you. I'm Ed Snare with Ed Snare TV. Live it, love it, remember it.